and stay with the mic because I want to ask now you've said that let's say you fall in love with such a case and you know it's true love you've fallen for a man amen and he just simply can't pay dowry and it's say uh, you've fallen for real you know that <laughs> my heart belongs here <laughs> nowhere else what are you going to do i don't think it should be compulsory to pay dowry okay for you it should not be compulsory yeah it should not be compulsory or at least uh maybe when the man comes for to marry the lady in the the first day maybe mm -hmm. it should not be like you must bring this amount of money before you <laughs> marry her mm -hmm. no mm -hmm. let him marry her mm -hmm. or if she loves him too and she's ready for the marriage let them marry each other and then maybe no when they come visiting they'll come with something you see so you're comfortable that's appreciation those no, are that's appreciation now that's no buying that's not buying. That's real appreciation. Yeah, no, that's real appreciation. And so for those who said six figures, Nasasa, this guy, so I can't give you half a figure. Um. <laughs> I can't even give you 500K. So now. Uh, uh, okay. Um, okay, me, let me put it this way. For example, as you said, you love me, right? Uh, you don't have the cash for now. It doesn't mean like I will refuse to get married to you since because you don't have money love is not bought by money i'll come to you we'll get married we'll go talk to my parents and we will explain yourself you don't have the cash for now and they will give you time we will be together as you look for the dowry you pay but not like just taking me you go tell my parents uh, i love <laughs> this girl i want to take her as my wife but i don't have the money so just give her they won't agree they will tell you go with her since she loves you and you also love her stay with her make a family but by the end of the day make sure you go find the dowry and pay because there's also a case uh it was on news there was this lady who was married with the guy and she died she passed away mm. and the guy has never gone home to pay for the dowry so that man was not allowed to go and bury this wife because of that. So it's that serious. Never say you don't have the money. You have all the time before to put a first born, second born, third born. You still don't have the money. What if he says he wants to pay it slowly, maybe in installments yeah, that's or fine. something? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, they will say yeah. that too, but it mostly, won't happen. yeah, they it don't. won't happen. <laughs> but the bottom line is you yeah. will have to pay the dowry because about what she has said exactly. when a woman dies and you have not paid the dowry a body in some cases is exhumed you can you are not allowed to bury her body also yeah. you are you so you extreme. cannot be allowed to take care no. of the kids the the family of the so girl extreme. also will have the right to take the, her to kids take the away kids. from you because you of because of the bright price you say that uh when uh, i tell the parent for now let's say for example they give me like a uh, one year and then one year elapses and I don't have the money. Will you just go? Remember, we are, lo we are, loving, we are loving each other still. You know, love doesn't have an on and off switch. Mm -hmm. That today will be like, I don't love this guy, and then I'm it's switching off. it on. Yeah, yeah. So if they give me a, a one, one year ultimatum, then I don't, have, I don't have the money by then. And they take you. Will you just go? No. Do you no, know why you not go? No. Because of love. Yeah, you know, because of love. We don't meet other people here on the streets and they, and they have like a price tag. This, this this person is capable of paying this kind of money. <laughs> no, you just what attracts you is love, mm. not not the price tag. Mm. No, no, you're not cartoons or emojis. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I will not go because they don't have. In fact, if I I love you so much and I want to spend the rest of my life and I'm working, I'm being paid well, and even you, you're working. We can even work together so that I can help you pay the dowry. So you pay for your own dowry? No, I don't pay for my i will tell him like boss let me deal with food you deal with it let me do the, food yeah. and bills yeah, and then and you do and you do because mm. i can't remove my money from my pocket to it's buy like, yourself yeah it's like i'm buying myself like the budget mm. yeah okay okay uh -huh. talking about love and dowry okay love you yes but th that that will not blindfold me to not talk about the diary I'm, i'll push you to pay the diary no matter how much i love you because my my parents have the right to get that money what if he can't you know, it, you he know. has to 
like he can't there are so many i mean obligations he can't just when okay you start a family there are so many ob obligations there are so many bills to pay maybe house rent water bills a lot of bills whatever the bills before before engagement is done mostly in some communities like my community there's always a negotiation about the bride price you cannot tell me that they'll give me away with okay knowing that this man will is will never be able to pay my bride price so I need to you hear. won't be married by a man who you see will not be able to pay <laughs> hey, this bride, is so like tight price <laughs> because i need to sir. love him yeah. <laughs> So that's the point. You you'd rather be married by someone you don't love because he can pay the yeah. bright, bright price. Mm. Let's hear what Simba so says before we go to the no. next question. Just now, um, I think there's um there's some things which you we should avoid saying. Like for example, you say giving giving your way. The, your parents are not giving your way. That's a that's a lame word. Please don't use it. And this kind of pressing. But they are giving you away. No, you know when you say giving, that's just a. That's not the right word. And uh, what's the right word? They're giving you away. The right word is the right word. What? Which one? Which is? Uh, I'm going to. I'm going. I'm coming, I'm coming the right word. Ah, okay. Um, you know this kind of pressing. This is what sometimes make men uh, maybe like cheat. For example, the I love this woman, but she keeps on pressing. Whenever yeah, daily she's like even when dowry, oh, dowry, dowry, oh dowry, dowry, dowry. Oh gosh. I be like, and then I find another simple girl, and then she loves me and she accepts me at the end of the day you'll find the man cheating going to the other woman because she's kind of good but she doesn't have stress mm. yeah and these are the woman whom you you chose she's like dowry 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 and uh, she, she wants six digits but have only 50 shillings mm. yeah and we had discussed how do a girl's parents have control over her once dowry is paid that we actually discussed and you people mostly said no me my parents are not controlling me either way they're not controlling me and the next question should be reading whether uh diary how much should be placed as diary i want us to go back to this question because now we're talking about the fact that love comes in and there are those ladies who are so simple like you said who would accept a man even if he doesn't even if he's not able to pay diary yeah and so they would say ah you know i don't mind you know we can love and live that's what matters and you live and get married and you live your life without paying that dowry and life goes on forget the cases where bodies get exhumed i think those are very extreme cases and i feel sorry for parents who would actually go that far yeah that's just that's almost mental so i just think those cases are extreme but i also think that there are women who can accept love as it is and say i know you don't have money but tuna jengana, imaisha ku jengana, you know. So we'll build each other up. We'll get this money. It doesn't have to be paid in a form of diary. Yes. And so what I want to know is, from Simba's perspective, your friends come in and they say to you, ah, you know, as a man, lazima uli pay kitu. You just have to pay this thing. And this girl has asked for a certain amount. Let's say five million, like um, Nora said. And you have two million. And you're willing to pay that two million. And after some time, the girl agrees for that two million. But the parents refuse and say, no, as we're sticking with five, I'm on party. What happens next? Do you really think that a price should be placed on dowry? Come out to say me as a country, this is Kenya. Everyone should pay at least a minimum, a minimum of 100,000. Because there are people who don't have money. A minimum of 100,000 for dowry. And a maximum of this and this and that. Do you think that that's a step to go? No. That there should be a specific price so that we can all just stop arguing about this? No, we cannot put a price. Okay, the government cannot like put a certain price for dowry because mostly when dowry is paid according to uh, the African culture, mostly they are considering the level of education for the girl. That's what they consider the most? The most, yeah. What, the what do they consider next after education? Let's say she's not educated, then what do they look at next? If she's not educated, what's the next question? Let's say she's, you know, she just finished class eight. Kamaja. I think if uh, behavior, she's yeah? not educated, they look at the behavior and the fact that she's a girl. She can, she must be sold. Anyway. She had working. Yeah, yeah. she mm. must be sold. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That's why I think I don't think there should be uh, an amount placed for dowry. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So, so I see, and. <laughs> Let's go back to the question of love and dowry. And 
that's why I told you to stay with the mic. I needed to know from you. You find a girl who can accept to go without the diary. Yeah? But when she comes home, she's like acting like, you know, you didn't pay my diary. I can do whatever I want. And come in this house at 2 a.m. every Saturday night if I feel like it. I don't have to cook for you breakfast. Go in there and boil your eggs and make your own tea. I'm not doing nothing for you. You didn't pay any diary for me. You didn't do anything for me. Why should I do this for you? Why should I do anything for you? Then how do you feel? And what do you do in that situation as a man? Because um, you know there are women who do that. Um, you know, in any day or any time, respect is very paramount. You know, when you get, when you get a girl and uh, you, you've decided that she's the one, and then you take her to your home. And then she starts showing some disrespect. I think uh, the good thing to do is just let her go because respect is very paramount. Mm. And respect is a two-way traffic. But this is the same girl who said, baby, me, I'll accept you without diary. Akituna pendana. No, maze, I'll follow you into a murder if I have to. But money does not matter to me. You so know, you fell for that. You know, change is inevitable. And then in there, she became something else because you didn't pay. You know, change is inevitable. Mm -hmm. So we can't, we can't avoid change. When mm -hmm. the time for change has come, mm -hmm. we'll just change. Because, you know, even as guys, we always love, for example, if I text you, come home and you come direct. Sometimes a, a guy will just take you cheaply. But when I text you and you kind of refuse, a guy always wants someone who, who, who disturbs him. And whatever comes easy sometimes <laughs> can just go easy. I was used to scare before. Yeah? Uh, nah, okay. There's always first time for everything, so this is the first time by you may scare. Uh. Okay, also talking about love and diary. Yes. There, there are cases where women chip in to help their husbands pay for dowry. Also in central Kenya, women have formed groups to help raise money for dowry. You can look it up. How does that make you feel? You personally? Bad. Bad. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, mm -hmm. So you think that uh, the man is the, okay, the man should be entirely the one to pay the dowry? Yes. Yeah. yeah. If we're going to, no, if we're really going to do this, if we're really going to do this thing, yeah, let's draw some lines somewhere. Yeah. Let's make it clear somewhere. Since we can't decide the amount of money, since we can't decide, you know, how someone will be afterwards, the least you can do is let's decide who will pay it to make things a bit more organized. How do you feel? But I hear in India, it's a woman it's that the pays yeah, a pays, pays dar. I'm yeah. sure you would like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you together with all the Kenyan dudes out there who are listening would love to have a lady pay. In India, it's a woman that pays a dowry. Yeah. No, no, and you still see how they mistreat their women. So at the end of the day, what is dowry anyway? Um, okay, on such a case that a woman, thank God I'm not an Indian, thank God I'm not coming from India. Because mm. um, <laughs> I won't allow that. I'll even have <laughs> to run away. That, like I said earlier, yeah, helping you to pay the dowry, it's fine. I will help you, but, but I can't remove my money paying the dowry for you. It's like, yeah, you see. So you should find a way, find a way. You ha work, hustle for you to get the money and pay the dowry. Okay. To some extent, I think uh, in India, it's, uh, it's better in India when the woman is the one paying the dowry. Because, okay, I think it's absurd, yes, but uh, when the woman goes to the man's house, the man will pay the bills, the man will do the shopping, the man will buy her clothes, the man will educate the kids, so what are you doing there? Pay the dowry, let the man do everything else. I completely disagree with that. Because the way women are abused in India, it's so inhuman. Yeah. It's they don't talk very about it, bad. But it's, those women are treated bad. They're treated really bad. Especially if they're n they they don't pay in a, they don't pay like such a certain amount of money. They're treated like slaves. Mm. And also women chip in in building a family. At times they buy like household, they work and everything. So I really don't support why women should pay because everything in the house, it's what a woman does. A man cannot, sometimes can't even notice that sugar is missing. There's no, there's no soap. 
and such. So if you disagree with women paying dowry, then I think you should disagree with men paying dowry. Why should men pay dowry? Yeah. I'm the one who is leaving my parents <laughs> and moving to your family. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh-huh. <laughs> And your family's burden is going to be mine, not the other way around. Men mostly don't chip in. Mostly, as in like, okay, in rare cases, in rare cases, you'll find men like completely helping the woman's family. But for a woman, when you move to a man's family, his family becomes your family. But you know, there are things like pregnancy, like um, there are things a woman has to do on her own. Yes, pregnancy is created by two but the carrying of it is done by the woman herself. And nine months, you guys, is not a short time. Nine months is a long time. You know, and so most of the time people are like, ah, yeah, diary, diary really makes sense. And we need to close this segment. I need to know whether there are other views before I ask the last question. If there's anything at all you want to add that you feel is important to this discussion. Um, I'd like to say that you know, in, here in Africa... You look like you're deep in thought. Uh, you know, here, here in Kenya, you find segments be like, do you know that Indian ladies pay dowry? And I'd like to tell my friend here, even Indians are so surprised that we men are pay, paying dowry. But the, mo the important thing is just mutual agreement. There should just be mutual agreement whenever dowry is, uh, is involved. J just mutual agreement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mutual ag by mutual agreement, I mean by by you and the parents. You have agreed, agreed mutually, not just a one-way traffic. Mm. Yeah. So I think uh, 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 when dowry is being paid, the girl should sit down with the parents and say, don't, uh, okay, the girl should be reasonable enough to tell her parents that don't impose this amount of money to the man. I mean, uh, I mean they should talk it out. Like, okay. you know, buying it, he's not buying me from you. Mm -hmm. I'll be coming here, mm -hmm. I'm still your daughter. Mm -hmm. So you shall not impose this amount of money, uh, maybe a huge amount of money on him, like he's buying me for, for good. Okay. Yes. And I wanted us to finish completely. Uh, the last thing I want to finish with is a very interesting tweet that I, I will read lastly. But we had asked, should paying diary be scrapped and illegalized? And we said no, that it's not something that the government of Kenya can actually illegalize or legalize. It's part of the culture, it's part of the tradition, and we just need to make do. Yeah. Yes, because we also have you know, people in the older generation who don't want to hear anything. Their diary has to be done. And in closing, let me read something very interesting from a man called Johnny. Empowered girls should now start marrying men and paying their diaries. See what a man do, what a man can do, a woman can do better. Because of this diary thing, I'll marry a Hindi because to them, it's ladies who pay diaries. Sadly, Johnny, uh, Indians don't marry Africans. It's very rare. And That's I'll tell yeah. you good luck with that. Yeah, they yeah. don't marry Africans. <laughs> okay, sour, sour. What do you think of this tweet? Empowered girls. Since to make it up as empowered women, we should now be the ones to go marry men and pay their diaries. Um, no, no, I don't think for that. Nora it's a no, yeah, it's a no for favorite, it's a no, okay, for Miss Balakwen, it's a no, a complete no, wow, okay, <laughs> that's some women scare viewers, we scare journey, it's a no, even if these ladies are accomplished, even if they're well read, they don't want anything to do with paying diary. And from our last man over here, I need to ask a personal question Are you comfortable? With I'm a woman paying dowry for you, um, are you comfortable with that? As a man, <laughs> all that ego, are you okay with that? I'm okay because to me dowry is not paramount. So they're okay but with this. You know, this is a first <laughs> thing. Normally men are really? not okay with a woman to do uh, nothing apart uh, from cooking and giving birth. I'm trying. I'm trying to back up my statement. Okay, I'm back it up quickly and then yeah, we shut the show yeah. down. To me, dowry is not paramount. Whoever gives, whether it's me or her, what's paramount is love. About the dowry, I don't care because dowry will fade. Yeah. Dowry will fail. Yeah. But you know your parents care. My parents care. As long as you're, you're an African, you look African to me, I'm sure your parents care. It's me who's dating the girl. So uh, 
Life is what it's about. You guys, Munyakwe Uyu, he looks like he's a type to fight for a woman. You know, he looks like the type to say, Apano, oh, this, this is my baby, man. We're not doing this. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I've had such a wonderful time with all the viewers and all these panelists that um, have had this discussion with us about dowry. Um, I just wanted to leave with one thing. Love, like Mr. Simba said, love is very important. Love is a basis of marriage. And if you find you can't pay the dowry, you need to ask yourself, am I willing to treat this man with respect the rest of our life? even if he can't pay a single cent for me. Will I treat him with respect? Will I cook for him, clean for him, carry that kid for nine months? And the men need to ask themselves, since I can't pay this woman's dowry, and if I can't pay it, since I can't pay her dowry, what am I going to do for her to make things more comfortable for her in the house? Can I be helping her a bit more? Can I be chipping in a bit more? Just so that she understands, for me, it's not about money. For me, it's about the love. So with that, let's sign out. My name is Joy Moshache. This has been Why in the Morning, and this has been Queen's Wednesday, specifically WCM. And please remember that we need to hear from you. That's on Y254 channel, and that is Y254 channel underscore, Y254 cha underscore channel on Instagram, and on Twitter, that is Y254 channel. Subscribe and watch this interview again on YouTube on Y254 channel. My social media handles are Joy underscore Mochache. How about you, Nora Diambo? Nora Adiambo. Okay, how about your favorite? Jerry Fev on fe Facebook and Jerry Fev right on Instagram. All right. My Facebook handle and Instagram handle is Betty Malakoin. Okay. At Aldrin everywhere. At, at Aldrin everywhere. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Have a lovely, lovely morning. <laughs>